Hi Bros Developers and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to use MoveIt with PR2 robot simulation in Gazebo. So if you want to learn anything about Bros related topics, please check out our uh, YouTube channel, The Construct, where you can find topics, webinars and live classes about thousands of different uh, Bros related topics. And if you have any doubts on certain topics, have a look at Robot Ignite Academy where we have uh, courses on very specific topics so that you can learn and push your raw skills. And without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing is launch the ROS project of the PR2 MoveIt. Um, I've left the ROSject link in the description and also I'll, I'll leave a git so that you can download it. So without further ado, once you have opened it and launched it, we have to launch the simulation. In this case, we'll launch pick and place project mod. Uh, and while it's loading, we're going to have a look at the included notebook where we explain a bit how to use the functionality and how to get started with it. So this uh, particular uh, package it's based on a git made by Jupidity. It's, I'll leave it in the description below. It's really nice. But for some reason, it, it doesn't work exactly as it should. So it's work in progress to make it work. But what, uh, what we are going to do is use uh, the Move It system to move the PR2 around. Uh, this version also has been modded so that you have the head and the laser, which it was a total bummer if without it, 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 it didn't look like the PR2 at all. And there we go. So we have the PR2 ready to go. So as you can see, we made it just the, the green color but you can change it and make your own. And we've added, added some controllers to move the head around and the laser. So first things first is how to use move it with PR2. So if we go to the IDE and we have a look at it in the package PR2 description, uh, we have scripts and in demos, we have the move it demo, which is basically what we are telling you to use here in the, in the example notebook, in the quick start guide, which is a, a demo that moves the two arms to two different positions. And that you can use it for uh, do pick and place and grasping tests and all kind of stuff. But this is one of the basics. And if you know this, you can use PR2 basically uh, without any problems. So first things first, what's the most important part of using MoveIt? Well, the most important part is knowing the, the MoveIt groups. For that, we've left this command which opens the setup assistant for move it and this is really handy because it allows you to use move it packages that you haven't created and you don't don't know exactly what's defined in them so we just launch it like this and then we open the graphical tools close it here and there we go. So we have, we'll see what we have there afterwards, but we click on edit existing move it configuration package and we look for it, which is in simulation workspace source PR2 and move it. Yeah. And that's quite it. You hit load. And there you go. As you can see here, this is the original move it 
created by, I suppose, stupidity. I don't know exactly. But you can see that this was the model, original model, that didn't have um, a model for the, the laser. And you couldn't move it. And also, you didn't have any head. It just had the, the, the point cloud sensor fixed there. Uh, in this simulation, it has been changed. And now you have it on the head as it should be. So here, the most useful uh, part of this is you go to planning groups. And here you can see the groups to move the robot to, which are very, very handy. So in this case, you can see that you have right arm, left arm, right gripper and left gripper. So we're interested in moving the right and left arm. Yeah. It's also interesting to see the robot poses because it allows you to see to, for example, move the left arm and you're moving it around to test different poses that you want to, I don't know, maybe generate afterwards. As you can see here, the robot is not moving because you're not moving the physical robot. So if you have a real PR2, you wouldn't be moving it and the gazebo simulation works exactly the same way. This is just to have uh, to test different poses and save them on the move it so that you can use them afterwards. Basically, that's what's useful about it. But the most important part is the, the groups. Why? Well, because let's close this because we don't need it anymore. And we put it here. So when you launch the simulation, you have your model with our vis and all the move it stuff. So good stuff here. So uh, and also if you you can activate or deactivate the point cloud. In this case, we are not activating it just because it, it consumes too much resources. And if you activate and deactivate the move it, you'll have this panel for the move it. So good stuff there. And you can test around. But what we are going to do is use uh, move it through code. So here we have a tiny little demo, which basically what we're doing is creating a move PR2 class that you can use for your programs, uh, AI uh, programs, for example, it could be a very good application for this. And basically what we do is we initialize a node and we do this test in this case. This test creates this object of this class. And then it uses this end effector trajectory and it sends a pose of the end effector. The end effector, it's in this case, the grippers. Yeah. So here in this case, you were sending the right arm pose and then the left arm pose. Yeah. So let's have a look how it works. So we go here. Yeah, sorry, we go here. Copy. Sorry, uh, there we go. And we execute the move it. It's loading all the systems. And let's have a look here. Yeah, there we go. So it's moving the first, the right arm to, as you can see, it's moving all the joints to position the end effector in the pose that we specified the right arm and then the left arm. Yeah. And that way you can move the, the arms around without any problems. And also if you ask it a pose that you can't do, then it will tell you that you can't do it. So how does this work? So let's have a look to the class and which is not that difficult actually. So the first thing is we are 
generating this PR2 move service just so that you can use it through a client. So in reality, you would launch this PR2 service without anything. And then you would call this service and uh, ask to move to different poses. This is really useful so that you can't, uh, you don't have to think about it. Then what we're doing is we are initializing the move it commander here, the robot commander and the planning scene interface. Once we have this, now we have the capability to use move it with Python without any kind of problem. So the first thing is we generated a dictionary here and inside it, we're going to place the different groups. In this case, the right arm, the left arm, the right gripper and the left gripper. So we are placing all four groups. Yeah. And we place them like this. Move it commander, move group commander and the name of the group. Once we have it, we place it in dictionary. Yeah. And that's quite it. So once we have this, now what we are going to do is see how we move it. So we have two modes of moving, two ways of moving the, the arms. The first one is through the end effector, that it's the one that we use and the desired one when you want to just move the, the gripper where you want it to move. And the other mode is through the joint trajectory. So just directly giving the joints positions and, and placing, them, placing them there. So in this case, we're going to use this one, the end effector. And what it does is you ask it a group name, which is the right arm. And once you have it, then it checks if it's inside. And if it's inside, it checks if the pose is the world. If it's not, then it changes that pose, that frame to world so that it knows that the frame that you're sending, the pose that you're sending is reference to the world. This is really important. If you want to change this and you want to send a pose that is, uh, I don't know, based on the, the head link or the, the torso link, then you have to change it here. Okay, so bear that in mind. Once you have it, you do that set pose target and the move it group object. Yeah, which is the move it group object for the right arm. And then you execute the, tra the trajectory, which is around here. And basically what it does is get the pose that you set and execute it. That's it. And that's quite it. So this is how you use move it with PR2. Hope you liked it. Please consider subscribing and give a like if you liked the video and see you in the next video. Bye.